Some drama in Funny Car. Let's go to John Kernan. Well, I'm with John Force, who, of course, owns John Force Racing. He lost in the first round, as did teammate Robert Hype. Mike Neff moves on, but, John, this is a big blow to the team as a whole as far as the countdown to the championship is concerned. Well, hell, everybody's struggling. Schumacher just, they seem to have found it. I got people think I'm rooting for him. I don't root for him. I root for us. That's my job for Ford and Auto Club and Castro. That's what I'm paid to do. <clears throat> you got to keep three cars in this game. And <clears throat> my car has struggled since Brainerd, and uh, we, we can't find it, but we will. He, he even got me and the crew chiefs talking stuff, but we'll, we'll find where we're at. Uh, I, I'm aggravated on a few things went on, but, but I got to learn to keep my cool. You know, Johnny lit up both bulbs. He apologized. Kind of didn't hurt me. I, I stayed cool, went in. And, but when he went over, I had the best view in the house. And he ripped that wall. And, and, and the cones flew. I thought, okay, you're back in. And I come around the corner and they said no. Guido even yelled, keep your cool. Because, and, and, and that's the rule. Even though he hit it, Right there at the cone, the rule is you got to hit the wall. And they hung cones out to, to warn the drivers on a thousand foot. So kept my cool. I just uh, don't like getting beat. A little aggravated today. And then Robert goes out. That's a great race car. So I'm just going to shut up and go watch my cars and get my shit together and see if we can get a win out of this thing. But we got some tough old boys to fight. Now, he anyway, uh, Hagen, congratulations. 399. I hate it. But I like you, kid. Uh, 401 this morning when the sun come out, boy, you got you got them big. But God bless you. I love to see a great race. Okay, Mike, give me the interpretation of that thing. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, when Top Fuel is back on the line, it is going to be Larry Dixon who is trying to move up. His teammate is already out of competition. He'll face Brandon Bernstein, who is on a very long dry spell and looking for a win.